popping. I'm joined by my good friend Anders. Yo. We're gonna do yeah. something special today. We're gonna we're gonna work and show our process online for the first time. This is the first for you, correct? First time streaming, first time. I usually work on my own. I don't, I don't really like people in the room, so. I was working with my other friend, um, August Rigo on this joint. And yeah, I know, I know you wanted to jump on it. Let me play this for you one time from the jump. Tired of these bright screens, live streams. Can't get your vibe with you, just here on live with you. I've been feeling looking for more. We can't ignore all the signs. It's been time. All this talking on the phone, we still only at home. That's the crime. Yeah, bro, so like your verse would be here. Yeah, so uh, you want me to take out his hooks for the second, or, or, or what you want to do? Uh, yeah, just just cut it off exactly how you had it, like that. Somebody asked, um, uh, how's your writing process like? Honestly, it's it's not like there's no specific process that I follow. It's really just whatever in the moment works. Like now, I just when I write, ninety five percent of the time it's just as I go, I'm writing it. I, I don't really write anything down. Mm -hmm. You've been making music for like, what, like three, four years now, fam? Yeah, I'd say it's pushing four years or maybe four. Like, what was the biggest change in your process so far from like the beginning till now? Uh, biggest change in the process from when I started till now, it's like understanding more of the process of what goes behind making music. I'm like way, way more invested in the rest of the process when it comes down to like mixing, post-production, like arrangement. I like to be hands-on in everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas in the beginning, it was more like, okay, let's be things do their thing, let me do my thing, let me, do, let me play my role. I, lo I love working with artists that like know what they want to do and like are super involved. That's why I really like working with you, bro. Yeah, please. likewise. That's yeah. why we've gotten along yeah. for this time, you know what I mean? I just sent you that email. You should have that in your inbox by now. Okay. What's going on in the chat? I look over, they're talking about kimchi squat. What is that? Yeah, what do you be using these days, fam? Like my gear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, I, I, I'm not too good with gear, but you know what I'm in and uh, all the 16 and I got me. Yo, that's sick. That's a solid setup. Actually in the crates? Yeah. Uh, for the You For You music video, I actually um, hopped on like those huge cranes. I shouldn't have, like it, would, it technically would have been like a live movie, but I hopped on the huge cranes and the guy lifted me up and I, I jumped into the crate. Damn, that's crazy, bro. I didn't even know that. How do you explore different ways to be creative, not get caught in the trap of formula music? Like, let your shit, like, just flow, you know what I mean? Like, I can answer these questions to my knowledge and to kind of just what I've experienced, but we're always students. Like, I'm still trying to figure out what fucking works. YouTube probably, there's no, like, even when I've had songs, I've done songs that are like, oh, this song did well, people like this song. I'm not like, okay, let's do that again. You know me, that's why my music sounds the way it is. Yeah, it's never like we try to go and replicate shit that worked before. All my music sounds so different because I think it's part of, partly like my brain. I have a bad attention span. So it's hard, it's hard to like really, and, and that's something I want to work on too, is really honing that and be able to do five songs that all sound, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. On a vibe, but my ADD and my like, just doesn't let me. I just want to like do different shit. I get bored of things real quick. I, mean, I got this shit good. open. The moment of truth, fam. Everyone's gonna want to see this. Tired of these bright screens, live streams. Can't get your fuck. He didn't give you the words for it. You don't know how the words for it, do you? This get up close and personal. Mm -hmm.
Guys heating up, yo. This guy's heating up. Yo, drop some heat emojis, yo. Some FGH heat emojis. Baby, it's been too long. I'm locked in this place. Okay, okay. Got them right, but... He's getting the melodies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, only in Toronto <laughs> is Are You Dumb a good thing. Baby, it's been too long. I'm locked in this place. With these visions of you tattooed on my mind. The track was due to... I mean, the track. The, the take was due to, but... As long as you got the idea. When I'm with you, I get all the pain that's been weighing me down. This is heat. What it's called? Uh, I think we're probably just gonna call it personal or something. I don't know. Oh, man, I don't know about me and never using the grid. It's weird. <laughs> oh, you're not even on grid. You're on slip, bro. Damn. I don't like working on a grid. I don't know why. Trying to reach and get up close and... Man, his melodies are so fire. Mm -hmm. Yo, he's sick, bro. And he did this shit super fast, like. 20 minutes or something, bro. The hardest part sometimes is like, one thing I will say when you're recording is like, if you know exactly what you're going to say without having to think about it, your take will be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I got to tell them like, yo, go take an hour, yo, That's memorize. Why say, yeah, go memorize your shit. Yeah. Like what I would do here after I write this shit would be to go back and actually record it properly. Mm -hmm. I'm with you when no one's around. It's been dry. Jeez, August in the chat, yo. Shout out August, bro. Is he in there? Shout yep. out August. Shout out August, bro. You got me out here working yeah. hard trying to keep up with your shit, bro. Yo, man, man can't do your falsetto, bro. Let's get up close and personal. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let's run it. Let's run it, dog. The first rundown. What Dada used to make the beat? FL Studio. Let's get up close and personal. Baby, it's been too long. I'm locked in this place. With these visions of you tattooed on my mind. But we got it just can't be replaced. When I'm with you, I forget all the pain that's been weighing me down. Time with you when no one's around. It's been driving me crazy lately. Don't wanna be without you. You're my baby. So when yeah, that's hard, bro. See you, all I've been getting is previews. Ready to go? Just let me know. I'm trying to reach and get up close and personal. I'm trying to reach and get up close and Drop some heat emojis. Oh God, there's a chat. <laughs> Yo, drop some heat emojis if you think it's fire. I want you, you want you. Let's get up close and personal. Yeah, I, I want to hop in that chat. I'm getting FOMO. I want to know what people are saying. Oh, fam. Yo, they've been talking about you. Almost 9k people in here. You shout out everyone in here right now. That's a lot of people. How did you find the right producers and songwriters to work with, especially in the beginning? Um, okay, in the beginning, it's gonna be hard to get people to work with you because like you, you just got no resume. It's like it's kind of just the way the world works. It's hard to get a job. In the very beginning, I was like, let me just find people who are just down to work. Like I don't even care if you're sick. At this point, I just want to work. Then once you, I started having like music and, and demos or whatever that I could play people, mm -hmm. then it's it's just a matter of you're trying to hit up people. Like for you, it was meeting Gavin that he put me in a room. Yo, I, there's this other kid, Francis. That's how we linked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? How I met Luca was um, through Mo. And how I met Mo was through some guy who was like, yo, there's a guy at my workplace um, and he makes music. Like, he worked with him on his day job, but he makes music on his own time. Just word of mouth, people like fucking with your shit and just wanting to spread it. You never, you just gotta reach out, see who's gonna hit you back, you know? In the beginning, that is true. You just gotta work. How, how do you maintain confidence through ups and downs of being an artist? Just have good people in your life. You just gotta keep grinding. Now, honestly, like anybody who's, who's 
who's where they are. They just didn't let that shit stop them. Yo, you send that vocal, fam? Yeah, I did. Was your uh, first song actually choosy? My first song actually was choosy, yeah. No, no, no. The Days was my first song. And then Choosy was the second song, and I dropped them together. But at the time, it was with, with, with some producer. I, I, he, I don't even think he produces anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but I did The Days, and then I met Solomon, and, and The Days was what made him want to work with me, and then I made Choosy. All right. High quality. Let's get it. Don Tolliver or St. John? I'm going Don Tolliver. Tired of these bright screens, live streams. Can't get your vibe with you, just here on live with you. I be feeling, looking for more. We can't ignore all the signs. It's been time. All this talking on the phone, we still only at home. That's the crime. Baby, it's been too long. David, we gonna send you the stems once we uh. I, I gotta get in with August. Yeah, we we gonna wrap it up. We gonna yeah. do all the backgrounds. I'm gonna do some post production, perhaps. Yeah, it up. And then yo, yeah, the fam, say less. We gonna send it to you after that. So they wanna know your plugins, fam. I don't got any like, I don't know, fucking Valhalla for reverb. I like SSL. I don't know. I'm not really an engineer. Who is who is our dream collabs? For me, my dream collab would probably be Pharrell. How about you, dog? Right, one man. person, you got one person right that's now. Good. That's all good. Man. Okay, okay. Yo, that's a great choice. Dugger yeah. is sick, bro. We're like, Francis will know. Usually, when I cook, I don't even like people in the room. So it's crazy yeah, facts. That there's like 9,000 people like here watching, or I don't know how many while I was recording, but yeah, like eight, nine thousand. I like, people. Francis knows I kick people out the room when I work, so yeah, this is a rare event, fam. Only on Twitch. Shout out, Shout out August. Mm -hmm, for sure. We definitely got to do this again, fam. Yup. That was Anders. Yo, hope you guys enjoyed that stream real quick.